Hey hello my exes, welcome back to another Minecraft video and today what I'll be doing is my top 3 plugins for your server and these are not the typical plugins, I'll tell you that. So my plan for these plugins is pretty much just showing off what it does and the configuration you will have to figure out yourself, it's pretty easy, I'm not choosing the most difficult ones and the permissions are pretty much just on the website itself, all links will be in the description and this is just my top 3 I picked since I thought mm, maybe this is fun you, for you guys and yeah I also have a server which I'm currently on I have these plugins installed as well so if you want to check them out yourself on a different server just go ahead and go to the IP in the description I've been searching on YouTube plugging top 5 and I haven't seen a single one where it's just English and actual good explanation so I'm trying my best anyways number one is one I really really like and is really useful if you have like an OP PvP slash faction server it is money mobs and if you spawn a mob and you kill it and any player kills it you will dr drop the money and since I'm in OP it will drop, uh, double the amount he drops so let's spawn a skeleton over here and kill this guy and you'll see it'll drop money and it will say it down here really self-explanatory and really easy to use only thing is it's one bucks so number two is also a plugin that costs 10 bucks so that is 10 times as much as the money mobs and it's also really self-explanatory it's uh, it's called auction house and since I'm in game mode and I'm OP and have all the permissions I'll not be able to actually sell stuff on the extra auction house but because of that I got someone to sell something on the auction house to show you off that it do does work just fine so if you do slash AH you'll see a thing pop up and you see two gravel sold for 99 whatever it is 99,900 and whatever number it is and it's sold by cheese to the max a player on my server so if I were to buy this I just click it and I'll uh, click the green and it's accepted in this case I'm not doing it obviously since it's way too expensive so if I get my sword out and I do game mode zero obviously you have to be in game mode zero you can actually configure that in the config as well but I didn't do it just yet um, but as you can tell I'm in OP so I'll not be able to do what I'm about to do but just follow along so if I do slash AH sell and then the amount of money I want to sell it for I can sell this iron sword for 100 bucks and if I hit enter it will say you cannot list any more items at once and that's because I have OP but that doesn't matter not to the point so there are more things to it if I go to slash AH you have a few icons down here so pretty much you could go ahead and click what is this page or how to sell an item uh, but that is something I'm explaining already so first of all you have previous page next page and refresh page if someone were to sell something right now on the auction house I would not see it till I refresh the page so I could get my all on right now and do that but I'm not feeling like it just you get a point so if I go to the next page I will get to the next page if I want to go to the previous one I hit that one also here's items you're selling if you click this you'll see the things you are selling at the moment uh, you can set how many things you can sell in total mine is to three so you can auction three things at the time and yeah pretty much what is this page go back and this one is the collect expired you can set a amount of time that the item will stay on the auction house and then it will expire so pretty much if you hit this and you hit this so the item there there is you'll collect whatever expired so the last one is message announcer and it does pretty much what it says it does so as you can tell, I have welcome to Chaotix PvP. Are you a YouTuber? Let us know. Apply for YouTube rank. Uh, it's pretty much a random message sender to all the people online, and it's really easy to use. So that's the reason I'm showing you it 
today. There are a lot of plugins like this and they do the exact same, but I'll go to the config right now and show you how easy it works. So here we have the config itself, message announcer version 1.5. Also, link will be in the description. So, as you can tell, there's an interval between the uh, two messages or three messages. However, there is a interval you can set up yourself. Also, a sound is enabled for me with a volume of 10 and a pitch is 1. Um, pretty much what you do, it's really easy to set up as you can tell. So, let's say I want to add another one and call this... Uh, just make and we just copy the line there is already and hit enter paste it and recall this make and then I'm gonna change this make make sure sure you vote and that's pretty much it so pretty much what you do there's already a default text inside of it you copy it you paste it change the name change the whatever you want to say and that's about it so that's it for the top three plugins i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like rating let me know what you think and let me know what you want to see also i will do configurations on essentials permissions just call it and i'll help you out in any way i can thank you guys so much and like always Peace out, Maxis.